we're going to talk about nitric oxide and what what is it? So nitric oxide is very interesting. It's produced by all the cells in your body and basically it fuels your cells, it oxygenates your cells and of course if you think of oxygen, <laughs> how long do we live without oxygen? We don't. So uh, oxygenation is key and uh, allowing blood to flow is key, hence my um, title having to do with heart disease as, which is our number one killer. Uh, but I also mentioned aging. So how does, that, how does that all fit together? Let's talk about it. Um, nitric oxide, again, is made by every cell in your body. And unfortunately, as we age, you make less. So, and starting at the age of 20, that's unfair, but um, by each decade, you're losing another 10 to 12% of your nitric oxide production. So it's definitely something if we want to fight back and and stay energized and healthy and increase our longevity, we really have to understand how to keep, um, how to keep our nitric oxide levels high as we can. So um, I have a supplement, Whoop, you probably can't see that too well. So it's called N1, it's called N101 nitric oxide, Whoop, but I'm gonna tell you more about it. So uh, as I said, nitric oxide is a vasodilator, so it opens your vessels so more blood can flow. So again, if we think about uh, heart disease, but we also think about dementia, we think about erectile dysfunction, uh, there's many, many problems. Um, hi from Las Vegas, thanks for, thanks for checking in. Um, so oxygenation to blood vessels is, is critical for, for life. and so. Again, it's made by every cell, but as we get older, we make less and less. So how do we push back against this? Unfortunately, in addition to with each passing decade, we make less and less. Can people who have chest pain uh, take this? Uh, a absolutely. I mean, nitric oxide is a, is a very life-giving chemical. So of course, your source of chest pain is, is definitely something you want to uh, understand. Um, Hello, uh, but is, would, this, can't, this cannot hurt you. Bringing more circulation uh, to your body is, is, is not ever going to be a bad thing. Uh, so anyway, getting back to another big issue with why we get, um, oh, hello, Dubai. I want to I wanna go to Dubai. Um, another big issue that really compromises our nitric oxide over and above just the passage of time is things we do and we're prescribed. Um, chest pain. Oh, yeah, you should look at some of my videos. So this is an individual saying he has chest pain, but his heart's fine. So I talk a lot about hiatal hernia syndrome. So you can reach out to me and we can talk more personally or definitely check out my videos on hiatal hernia syndrome. Um, so getting back to lifestyle, if you are a daily mouthwash user, you have to stop because it annihilates your nitric oxide. If you're taking proton pump inhibitors, which is a, a over the, not over the counter, sorry, a prescribed um, antacid that's very strong, used for acid reflux, I, I won't tell you to just stop it out of hand, but we have to get to the root cause of why you have the reflux so you can stop the proton pump inhibitor because it's also annihilating your nitric oxide. So setting up for elevated blood pressure, heart disease, erectile dysfunction, and more. Antibiotics can do this. NSAID, NSAID drugs can do this. What else is on my list? Um, oh, cholesterol lowering. Statins can do this. So these are really common uh, medications, but I will tell you the root cause medicine approach, we're very good at getting people off these medications naturally by getting to the true root cause of of why your cholesterol is elevated, of why you have reflux. So it's not hard to get people off these drugs, but it's really important to know this added uh, insidious effect that it's having on your nitric oxide. Um, so we talked about, uh, oh, we talked about um, circulation, also wound healing. So there's a topical form of, of nitric oxide that we constantly keep running out of. It's a serum. And this work was done by Nathan Bryan. So his last name is spelled B-R-Y-A-N. And this doctor has dedicated more than two decades of his life to figure out how, and I didn't say this earlier, is that you, you take something called nitrate, you turn it into nitrite, and then you have this gas. So 
nitric oxide is a gas and, and it's only present for a fraction of a second. It does not have a long, long life, um, but in its very short life, it does fabulous benefits to the human body. So Dr. Nathan Bryan worked for more than two decades to stabilize this in this form of the lozenge that I showed you, uh, but also there's a, a serum for for the face that I've been using for several months now, and, and, and I really love it. So I'm not trying to be a commercial for his products, but they're, they're the only products I know of that actually have been proven to have, um, to raise your nitric oxide level, both superficially as well as deep. So from a wrinkles, tone, better acne, um, better acne, improving acne, um, hyperpigmentation, uh, wrinkles, it, it's, it's beautiful for the skin, it's very anti-aging. Some of his studies showed people who had, who had wounds, deep wounds on their face, and of course it could be anywhere, and, and how um, much the wound healing was sped up by this topical product, and I would imagine internally, uh, taking it internally as well. But So there's, there's two, two types of it, and, and we do have it here at the clinic. Uh, what else did I want to tell you? Um, yeah, so a lot of the, again, it starts with nitrate turning into nitrite, and there's a lot of fruits and vegetables that are high in nitrate, and it's just the standard, the standard American diet between having a poor diet and then um, taking a lot of these medications, mouthwashes, etc., and then the passage of time, you get kind of a triple whammy going, and your poor nitric oxide is really suffering, and you're suffering. So definitely consider not just the lifestyle changes, but if you're for sure over the age of 40, the lozenge is amazing. It, um, it's kind of an orangey flavor. I've been taking it for several months. I always do these things for several months myself before I talk about them to make sure that I'm, I can tell the, tell the benefit and if there's anything you know funky about it, you need to know like flavor. But it's, um, yeah, it's, it's got a nice orangey flavor. It just dissolves on your tongue, so they say to kind of move it around and, and you do it morning and night. So it's, it's a very easy administration. But the, the critical point here is understanding uh, what nitric oxide does for us, how important it is, and also to realize that some of the effects of the drugs that I mentioned and just a lifestyle factor of mouthwash can really be inhibiting this and really having a negative effect on your health. So if you need help in any of these areas, that's why we're here and I'll see you tomorrow.